I think all the buildings I've done, I've encountered or created or stumbled on uh, uh, the notion that there has to be a big idea. I, I think um, it, it's, it's not universal in art that there no, needs to be a big idea, but it certainly helps. Something that uh, Beach was, was built in um, 1985, 6, that area. Well, as a house, both as a weekender and a potentially a kind of retirement house. And so it was very casual. The, the Palm Beach site was really a monster. It had, it had one creek running across it and another vigorous creek running down one side with a major waterfall. And um, it was in a slip area. And the part of the land in which you could build was very, very limited. Fairly early in the piece, I concluded it had to be a little tower rather than a long house. So it, it started small in plan and developed from there. It had a couple of um, strong ideas in it, I suppose. Um, uh, one was that to be in it sort of um, an evocation of the glassed-in veranda, the traditional glassed-in veranda that I'd spent, spent a lot of time in my childhood in, to various relatives had them. What I felt was interesting about glassed-in verandas that you couldn't combine them with a balcony. Um, so I put the balcony beside the house instead, and partly behind it, um, rather than in front of the room. They were quite small rooms, everything was small. Um, and the bathroom was, our bathroom was a bit like a, a bathroom on a yacht. A fairly simple kitchen. Uh, a lot of the cooking was done outside on a barbecue and under the sala, in the sala. The room, the room was the, the top floor, which was glass all round, and um, it was a big glassed-in veranda with a high ceiling and a loft, as you remember, looked down over it. And that room was really what it was all about. Having a loft in which, which would overlook the main room, given the room was very high, and given the idea of the house being a staircase to get up the cliff, you then went up to the loft, and the loft then opened onto a bridge, which opened, which led back onto the top of the cliff. You know, there was a sort of game there that, that was worth ex exploiting. And the joke we used to make was that um, we figured that the grandchildren would, would live up there most of the time. But in fact, it was the, it was the children who uh, took over the loft most often, and grandchildren were, were sent to the the little rooms down below. <laughs>